Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into how event-driven microservice architecture works. Well, in a event-driven microservice architecture, we create a, a multiple microservices and we use a message broker as a messaging system for asynchronous communication between multiple microservices. For example, we have order service as a microservice 1, stock service as a microservice 2, email service as a microservice 3. To keep it simple, let's consider we have three microservices, but you can create as many microservices that you want. For example, you can create SMS service, you can create payment service, you can create packaging service. Okay. So in order to understand event driven microservice architecture, let's consider we have these three microservices in a, you know, this architecture. In event driven microservice architecture, we have to use a message broker for asynchronous communication between multiple microservices. A message broker can be a RabbitMQ or Apache Kafka or Apache ActiveMQ. Okay, so you can use any message broker that you want for the asynchronous communication between multiple microservices. So whenever a customer places an order, the order service will basically create an order event and it will publish that order event to the message broker. And stock service and email service, so these are the basically consumers who subscribe to this message broker. So as soon as order service publishes order event to the message broker then these two microservices will receive that order event okay and stock service service basically responsible to receive the order event from the message broker and it will update that order details in the database and email service it is responsible to receive an order event from the message broker and it will, it will send uh, you know an email to the customer about this order status well, you might be wondering what are the advantages of using event-driven architecture. Well, the first advantage is it improves the flexibility as well as maintainability. Well, maintainability plays a very important role whenever we develop the application. Well, in this architecture, you can see order service is only responsible for collecting the order and creating order event and it will place that order event in the message broker and similarly stock service is only responsible for updating the stock in a database and email service is only responsible to sending the email to the you know customer so all these three microservices have their own purpose and they are independent to each other right so other service don't have to know about stock service and email service okay so these are the basically independent so there is a lot of separation of concerns between these three you know microservices that's why in a event driven microservice architecture the you know publisher don't have to know about the consumers okay and consumers don't have to know about the publisher they just you know use you know middle component that is message broker for the communication okay so this is the separation of concern and it improves basically flexibility and maintainability let's say you have a requirement to create a one more microservice in the architecture then what you need to do is you need to create one more microservice similar to stock service and email service and then you need to start consuming the events from the message broker you don't have to worry about the publisher isn't it so this is called basically you know scalability in event driven microservices architecture you know it provides the flexibility to you know scale your microservice architecture you can create as many as microservice that you want all right so this is a very very important you know uh, feature of this architecture well one more advantage of this event driven architecture is that it improves the availability for example consider we have multiple microservices in the architecture and any one microservice goes down then it won't affect the other microservices because all the microservices are independent each other right if any one microservice goes down then it should not impact other microservices okay so but if you use a monolithic approach then there is a lot of issues like if any functionality goes you know i mean if any functionality fail then it may affect other functionalities as well in the monolithic applications but in event driven microservice architecture all the functionality or all the microservices are independent each other that's why if any microservice goes down then it won't affect you know other microservices okay so this is the one of the you know big advantage of using event driven architecture and all the microservices are loosely coupled all right so these are the few advantages of using event driven microservices architecture